Yud is get your it's your boy Todd back here with another video and in this video today guys we've got to talk about something that happened in my team today that a lot of people are going to swipe under the rug specifically 2k is going to try to do but I'm here for you guys now what is this exactly it is it has everything to do with the pack odds okay and we've got a screen right here that shows the pack odds right when packs were released and then hear what they are like now so you guys can notice just look at the 87 rated player right now 15 percent when the packs were released, 100%. Also, the chance at a diamond was 2% when they were released. Now they're 0%. If you are really into 2K and you're waiting for content, when you want to rip packs is right away. So boom, let's say I'm waiting to rip packs and I see, oh my gosh, the chance of pulling a ruby is 100%. You honestly could rip a bunch of packs like this or even pull the box and you're guaranteed profit i didn't even see this because i wasn't actually loading the screen on the game but if i would have seen these pack odds 100 i would have pulled the deluxe pack no if ands or buts about it now the problem with this is i do not think the packs actually contain this i know the packs didn't contain these pack odds and you want to know why i know for a fact it was not possible to pull kevin durant out of these packs I know that. And so this is foul, false advertising. Who is a diamond at a 92 plus rated player that you could pull? The only one is Kevin Durant in the perfect build set and you cannot pull him out of these packs. You literally can't. There's a reason right now that these are what the pack odds look like that show you literally cannot pull a diamond. No communication from 2K. No apology at the time I'm recording this. And the least they should do if these pack odds were wrong is refund, refund everybody because this is horrible. 2K owes the community after something like this. They do. And this isn't the first time 2K has done something like this. They always come out, like not always, but before, boom, one time deluxe packs were 4,000 MT and a bunch of people were able to make a bunch of MT off of this. 2K has to figure themselves out. If this was a one-time occurrence, okay. But how many times has 2K done this to the community? And this is way worse than, than like most times. Most times, at least it'll go in the community's favor, at least half the time. This is really against the community. And I'm telling you guys right now, if it was me and I ripped a bunch of packs because I thought I was guaranteed and a ruby out of every pack and that I had a chance to pull KD... I would be hitting up 2K support sooner rather than later because this is this is so sad. And again, I would I would like communication from 2K. I would like something, right? Something. And guess what 2K is gonna do? They're gonna swipe it under the rug. Under the rug. They're gonna pretend this didn't even happen. This is a huge problem. As far as I'm concerned right now, I've not heard an apology from 2K. I've not seen a tweet from 2K. And, and if something like this happens, there needs to be some sort of communication. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Honestly, the communication from my team this year has been better than years past. But this is unacceptable and this is something that is not okay. Because if I personally would have saw this, I would have been ripping packs like crazy. Because when people saw the 4K deluxe packs earlier, they made a bunch of MT on them. They got, you know, I, I, I'm trying to figure out what set that was for. I think it was for maybe the Steph set. Uh, but people made a bunch of MT. People got Steph because of that. And again, I didn't see either one of these things. But it's something I'd, I'd encourage you guys to start looking at. And another thing I want to say, guys, is 2K is, is always going to adjust things. So if it's not for sure in your favor like this, it looks like it's for sure in your favor because it's 100%. It's false advertising. It's not in your favor. The 4K deluxe packs were first step. That was definitely in our favor. That was a glitch in the game. But again, it's just something at 2K. You are a huge corporation. You're a huge company. And you can't get something so simple like this, right? Now let's check out some of the people that had to deal with this. My man Luke said, yeah, why is it saying 100% chance at an 87 plus? Isn't that saying guaranteed ruby? It is. Just opened one and I got an 85 Sapphire GP. 
and then the reply. The odds just got updated, man. I feel bad for Luke. Another one here from Captain, he says, hoping to see some resolution here. Me and you both. Wouldn't have spent 21k on a pack if the real odds were advertised. I would have picked up a P uh, POP Sapphire. Uh, I don't even know what that means. And continued the grind. Fine with Sabonis, but overall disappointed. Like, yeah, I would be too if the pack odds are lying. My man Plastic says, for as bad as EA is, they would offer up some type of compensation in this situation. Look, all I'm saying is 2K can see who opened these packs, who bought VC, who did anything we revolved around the packs in the first couple of minutes. They can refund everybody that had issues with this. I literally opened two 10 boxes and got all sapphires. That's what I'm saying, Jaden. If I would have seen these pack odds, I would have opened most, uh, not two. I would have opened the first 10 boxes if it's guaranteed rubies. Uh, and, and if I would not have gotten guaranteed rubies, I would have been super, super, super mad. But I mean, look, it's just sad. After the first 10 box, I mean, that's kind of on you, Jaden, after you didn't see the first pack odds, but it's sad. It really is sad. You're expecting guaranteed rubies and you get sapphires. This is one from Bam that I agree with. Like you said, KD, uh, like KD I think is on the packs, first of all. So if you see the packs, KD's the visual on the packs. And then the odds say a chance at pulling a diamond. Both of those things don't sit right with me. And for all y'all know, man, Unbeatable Jacob's my man. He says having the ran wrong pack odds in the game definitely calls for not only a make a right, but an apology as well. Let's see some good business practices here today, fellas. And you guys can go and see it. My team has not tweeted anything, hasn't done anything with it. Look, I know people aren't perfect. I know companies, corporations. I know everybody's not perfect. I'm not perfect. I do things that are wrong. But let's be honest, guys. Like, this is this is this is straight up scamming the the, the 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 people who opened those packs. If you bought a 10 box, you literally got scammed this morning by 2K. I mean, that is literally what happened. I mean, it, it's in 4K. So, I mean, they do need to make it right for everybody. I didn't get scammed, but for everybody that did buy those packs expecting to get guaranteed rubies and an apology is owed as well. Again, this is not the first time 2K has struggled uh, to, to, to get the right stuff in place when they drop packs. If you have to delay the pack drops by a couple of minutes, do it. Let's get things right for the future, 2K. Is it worth it to open packs, guys? Absolutely not. Please save your MT. Do not open these packs because the last thing after all of this that 2K deserves is your money. If you saw these pack odds, bought VC, and then bought some boxes, and they were these odds, right? When you thought they were going to be these odds, you deserve a refund. You do. And I would, I would, I would definitely hit up 2K support and try to get things figured out because that is sad. And honestly, it's unacceptable. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.